Hey guys, so we just arrived at Team Labs, Team Labs, which is new to me. So yes, we pre-purchased the tickets, um, all six, seven of us. So Lydia didn't count, Jeffrey didn't count as far as pricing. It was 7,600 yen, which was $48. Um, in case you're wondering, wanting to know in advance, everything is online. You get a email sent to your email and then it, that's how you enter. So um, yeah, we're gonna get ready to check it out. It's our first time here. It's in a mall, it looks like. Um, so yeah, it has all the luxurious mall, uh, stores in here. I jokingly was like, I don't think we're in the right place. <laughs> Zachary was like, no, this is it. But we're gonna get ready to go. Um, show you what is Team Labs here in Okinawa, Japan. So, see you in a little bit. We need to go down. Once you leave the Team Labs, that's it. You cannot go back and forth. So, they recommend you use the bathroom before you enter. If you have any strollers or anything like that, you can put your stroller, uh, lock it up. They also have a like lock and key storage area right next to the stroller storage space. After that, you will share your email confirmation. That is what you use to enter into Team Labs. What I didn't show is they will have a quick this is what to expect at Team Labs rules that they have. Pretty straightforward, very short. After you watch the video, you can start to explore. And it's literally just that simple. They have this really cool like uh, pastel section where you can write whatever, draw whatever uh, with the pastel colors and it's easy to remove. It's a simple way to use your creativity in the moment. We also did a lot of like roaming around. Like they have an area where the kids can literally just like run. Like just run in circles, run up and down a small hill. They can slide down. They want you to remain on your bottoms though. So they don't want any rolling or anything. Remember it is dark. One thing I did forget to mention, you are able to have your phone. Obviously I have mine out, but there is a no flash um, rule. So you make sure your phone is off flash. And as you can see, my quality, I feel like turned out pretty decently um, for it to be dark in there with like the lighting that they have. So I do wanna note that if you're wondering about phones. I don't know anything about cameras or anything like that, but I do know with phones, just no flash. This next activity we enjoyed as a family. It was pretty much a hopscotch. Every time you jumped, you would see new colors flash on the floor. They want you to do it one at a time, which I like it because you can kind of enjoy it more so in the moment. This was probably our top two activities at Team Labs in Okinawa. This ballroom kind of let me down a little bit. I don't know why I was under the impression we could kind of play with them but it's definitely just for show. Um, they, uh, I will say if you want pictures in there, they do a really good job at like how to prop the balls up to have a nice aesthetically pleasing display of picture quality. So I did like that, but really it was just something that you can just go inside and just, you can touch the balls, you can move them around, but like don't expect to like bounce them and do all crazy things. It's literally just a cool, calm atmosphere with nice, shiny, glowy balls. <laughs> the next room available was more of a sensory play room the kids had a fair a decent amount of time in there um not really our favorite but there were more families in that room at one time now the next activity was our number one favorite and it was the slide so we probably i would at least say four rounds at a time using the slide I'm trying to think so the only rules I can remember with the slide is everyone has to go down at the same time Jeffrey had to sit on one of our laps Zachary carried a Lydia on his chest he could not go down with both a Lydia and Jeffrey so they are um they are mindful about how you slide down it was a very fun slide to say the least. I mean, me and Zachary both enjoyed going down the slide. 
a handful of times. We did let the kids go more so than us. They are, um, it was fun. That was, that I would say hands down was our number one favorite thing about Team Labs. It was just the right amount of momentum going down the slide where it was like you had a little bit of butterfly and a little bit of excitement, but nothing over the top. So again, we were there the longest number one spot for us in Team Labs, hands down. We shifted gears a little bit and found this neat little room, not little, it was a nice size room. Essentially, we walked into a lot of fish on the wall and we figured out that they were customized fish. So you, um, they give you a paper and you are able to draw or color the fish uh, however you want. It is yours for the taking. Uh, and then when you're done, you hand it over to the person that's working there and they will scan it. And then it literally drops down onto the screen and then you can follow the fish that you created. I will say that's definitely the top third thing that we enjoyed out of the whole Team Lab experience. I just can't rate it bigger than that because the slide was so much fun. <laughs> um, the slide was so fun. And um, the second thing we rated was the hopscotch. So I would say ending it there. Then they had like a Chinese theme room. I did not grab a whole lot of time and attention to what the description was on the outside. But I do have, I think, a very short clip of like what they described this next room to be. I really liked the elephant. The elephant was absolutely beautiful. I liked that as like a calming room that just felt something about it felt like serene, I guess, um, for a temporary type of feeling. It was nice. I enjoyed it. It was quiet. Uh, just seeing the imagery and the pictures on the wall. Uh, the elephant just it, it got my attention <laughs> um so yeah I, that's pretty much all that we were able to experience in team labs again i have researched okinawa's team labs is relatively smaller than the one in tokyo but i also know this is newer so obviously okinawa's smaller island i can only imagine it would be a smaller experience but it was a great experience nonetheless After the room with the pretty elephant and giraffe and all the other mini animals that were on display, we, as you guessed it, ended our trip with the slide. One last time, we had to. So we all experienced the slide again, and that was pretty much it, you guys. Uh, please don't hesitate. If you have any comments or questions, please don't hesitate to let me know down in the comment section. I will answer all your questions to the best of my ability. Um, I also have an Instagram as well. If you don't know, I will try to leave that in the description box as well. Check it out if you are on Instagram. Go ahead and follow me there. Subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed or found it helpful. I also want to know if you're watching my vlog videos, you know, let me know down below. Are you coming to Okinawa? Are you a military family, military spouse? Um, are you traveling and just wanting things to do? And don't hesitate to stop by in the comment section and say hello. All right, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Let me know what you think down in the comment section. If you have not already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And until next time, bye guys.